more than a million people are going to be aligning the streets of New York to cheer off on those thousands who are running in this year's New York City Marathon. This morning, our Reagan Menji is live in New York where runners have already hit the ground. Well, we're here on Staten Island in New York City, and this is the starting point of the 44th annual New York City Marathon. Now, 50,000 participants are expected to cross that finish line in Central Park in Manhattan. And of course, the biggest factor today, as you can tell with my, wind, my hair blowing in the wind, is the wind itself. Now, we talked about the participants. I'm joined now by a first-time marathon runner, Amy Falkenbach of New York City, formerly of Bethlehem, yeah. Pennsylvania. And Basically, you know, this is the first time you're you're running. So uh, what is going through your mind at this point specifically because of the weather? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. It's very, very windy. Um, I'm just trying to stay warm to like take off at 11. So I have a bit of time to hang out, but so you've got a lot of time yeah, to think. A lot of time. So now you were on the bus this morning. They have to actually meet in Manhattan. They, they get shipped here. Uh, what was the talk on the bus? People were talking about the wind and how you should stay in the middle of the pack to avoid the gusts. So hopefully that will work in my advantage. I'll try to stay in the middle, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. And now also, there's also like a cause greater than just running for yourself. Um, you're also running for your mom. Explain uh, that. For uh, I'm running for Fred's team. They fight against cancer. My mom's fighting colon cancer right now. So uh, we're raising money for that and it should be a great cause and I'm excited for All today. Right. So. And good luck to you, and of course, Thank good luck you. to your mom. Um, you. Of course, the 44th uh, New York City Marathon here, starting at Staten Island. Of course, the wind, a huge factor. Back to you.